Baines forced Thomas back to the front and Thomas has since been giving it his all to really fight for his own chances. He is a fighter and he will not give up without giving everything to the line here. Gerard Thomas, 29 years of age now. It's his first year really trying to lose that little bit of extra weight you need to do to be a leader in a stage race. He's going to be a little more protected, we're told, at the Tour de France this year. Perhaps it's the second plan, the second choice, plan B to Chris Froome. 18 seconds still for Contador, but look, what a great job the Thomas in our group is doing behind. 23 now, Contador still just about in the lead, but remember, 15 seconds. Thomas doesn't necessarily have to get back to this group. He has to lose less than 15 seconds, but with time bonuses on the line, he's worried about that as well. He can't leave it a chance. Yes, well, that is going to be the uh, complicated one with the time bonuses. And with only three riders out in front, uh, you know, they're all guaranteed to get some bonus uh, at the finish line if they hold on out there. And we can see that group uh, in between 17 seconds. Thomas is doing a magnificent job here. Galopan also is contributing very well. He is riding, he's pushing on 22 seconds. So if Thomas can get back into the group out in front, well, then he could save his day. Such an exciting race, Paris. It's always played, won and lost on just small time gaps. It comes over a week. We had one less decision day that was cancelled. Montpellier with the snow in the middle of the week. Led to a fantastically race stage just 24 hours ago. And this is proving very much to be the same. Contador peddling away for his life. And yes, he started the year well down at the Tour of the Algarve. He won a stage. He was beaten by Geraint Thomas to the overall win at that race. Here... He wants to take the win himself. He says he feels a lot better than he did 12 months ago. Remember how good he was at the Giro d'Italia. He won it without winning a stage, but was utterly dominant there. And Thomas can see the next group on the row behind. Yet another comeback, maybe. And again, we've already said that they've got a credit in now here. But Sky is a team. Thomas is a competitor. After two big knockout punches from Contador, if he came back from both of them, and that would be a huge confidence boost. Yes, it will, and we can see here, you know, he's getting the confidence, you know, really just uh, giving it everything here on the front, flicking his right elbow for Heino to come through, and it looks like they're going to get back into that group out in front. They're just about to, about to make contact, and uh, that is going to be an interesting one, because uh, as we go... 5.8 kilometers to go. It looks like that he could save Paris Nice. If they continue on to ride in this group as they're just about to catch, well, that could save his Paris Nice for Geraint Thomas. Three against a group of over 10 riders behind. With a yellow jersey involved and lots of riders not just fighting to stay in with the stage today, but fighting for their overall podium positions as well. Remember, in that second group, Zacharine remains, and he doesn't want Richie Port at the front to pump his place on the podium. Port Wellens, Condador, the leader of the race. Third, 15 seconds, pardon me, now on the yellow jersey. And that is exactly the difference at the start of the day between yellow and Condador. It's so tense. It is so tight. This is a huge fight for Paris Nice. And we're coming on to the flat few kilometers now. Back into Nice town itself. We'll be heading to the Promenade des Anglais, the traditional finish here. Oh, drama right to the last. Contador looks behind. He will be informed, well informed on the radio. Sean Yates will be screaming information at him. Yes, well, all directors will be screaming information. You know, <laughs> not only uh, uh, Yates to, to Contador, but you know, to uh, Geraint Thomas also. And I think everybody here will be getting uh, information for the director's sport leave because some are thinking of the stage victory here. And we can see Geraint Thomas. He's just giving it everything, digging in here, just trying to make it to the tail end of that group just out in front. And we can see 11 seconds. So it's coming down all the time. They're actually closing on the three leaders out front. Oh, you can see Alberto Cordero starting to get frustrated, willing those riders on before. He wanted Wellens to contribute. He wanted him to help. He wanted Port to come through and take his turn as well. For the moment, though, Cordero having to look behind. This is the general classification. Port, 21 seconds behind in fourth. Condor 15 behind in second. The man in the middle, Wellens, is only concerned about the stage win. Contact between the second and third groups. And they can see Contador further up the road. This is looking better and better and better for Thomas and Sky. It's the final three and a half kilometers of the 74th Paris. We started in the snow and the cold up to the northwest of Paris. We're finishing 
in the 18 degrees glorious sunshine of the Côte d'Azur and we've had such an entertaining day. It's been a hot day out there on the road. Contador responsible for most of the magic. Thomas winning the prize Pfizer award so far. Coming back with the help of his team and his own fight there on the descent. As it stands, Thomas is set to win Paris-Nice but there's the not so small matter of 10, 6 and 4 bonus seconds on the line. If you're tuning in late, if you've forgotten, just a quick reminder. The difference at the top is Garant Thomas leading by 15 seconds ahead of Alberto Contador. Nine seconds is the gap on the road. And if there's going to be some sort of incident, accident or problem at the end, think of Zacharin in third at 20 seconds. Think of Port at 21 in fourth. He's up in this front group. And at the minute, Uzi almost takes that corner a little wide. He's thinking of getting second place on the podium. It's not done and dusted yet. Nine seconds as we're back into these. The crowds are about to see one of the finishes in recent times, Sean. It's been yes. brilliant. Well, it's going to be very, very close. We can see here, you know, nine seconds. So it's all to play for with the time bonifications. It depends what happens here between our three leaders. And we can see Geron Thomas is taking it up at the front there. He knows he just had to give it everything and pull back those last couple of seconds. Get your calculator out, Sean. This is going to be tight. We might be counting back to the last second when we come across the line here. Less than 2Ks now. You can see the old Port of Nice on the left-hand side with its luxurious new yachts there occupying most of the moorings. But on the road, the sun is shining. Contador, Port and Wellens are racing for a stage win. If it falls to two of the guys in the GC, then it's going to be business at the best. Oh, and look at Thomas. He's giving it his all here. He's dropping the rest behind. Thomas is trying to bridge the gap and kill it before it even gets to the line. Yes, he is uh, just giving it everything here and he's using his time trial ability here. Just striding away with Enyo off the front of that group and just after getting back in, it looks like that he's going to save the day here because that time is coming down and it looks like Wellens is the man who is the danger for the stage victory because he's not contributing in the last number of kilometers. And that would take the worst section of bonus seconds available if you're thinking from a Geraint Thomas point of view. If you're an Alberto Contador fan, you know that he has crested the last little rise of Paris Nice as we come away from the old port descent now back onto the promenade des Anglais and there is one kilometre to go in Paris Nice 2016 this is a sprint of sorts but not between the fast men however it's all about the general classification Thomas started expecting a day where his team would control things it would be fairly serene there wouldn't be too many problems oh they've been tested to the earth They've been tested to the end of the earth and back, and they have done just about enough, I think, to take this. But it's not over till we're over the line. Richie Porton, the red and black for BMC, the defending champion starting the day in fourth, flicks his elbow. Contador has to come through, looks behind. Is there anything left in the tank to try and take this? Behind, the man in yellow, Geraint Thomas, dropped twice on the climbs, looked as though he was losing it. And in the meantime, these guys out in front sprinting for seconds and bonuses as well. Here comes Wellens on the left hand side stage win is at stake for him can Contador come around and out sprint him he's certainly going to give it a go though it's Wellens out in front he's surely going to take the stage for Lotto Fitzall in Belgium Wellens takes the stage 10 bonus seconds Contador's there with 6 bonus seconds look back at the counts 